Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm addicted to bleaching and dyeing my hair. So today I'm gonna bleach my hair. I already have coconut oil in it. But I'm just gonna add a little bit more of it to be safe. So every time I decide to bleach my hair, I always coat it in coconut oil because it's the only oil that's actually guaranteed to minimize some of the damage from the bleach. And since I'm doing it myself and I am known to mess up things quite badly, I need all the protection I can get. So just in case you're wondering, my hair is oiled and stretched. It's been a minute since I washed it. I believe the last time I washed it was about two or three days ago so all i really did today was just go over it with the blow dryer just to make life a little bit easier since i've been wearing it in a wash and go and it shrunk up so first things first i'm gonna need bleach and a toner so i like to use level 30 for the initial bleaching and then if i feel like it's not light enough i'll go back in with a 20 and then i just use regular white bleach they have different color ones but that stuff gets complicated and i'm no hairstylist and then you got your handy dandy mixing bowl and brush all right so i'm gonna use like two or three scoops maybe it's always better to have two much but not enough. So I might even use four just in case. I don't know, I always eyeball it. Alright, I think three is enough. Worst case scenario, I'll just have to make some more later. And then I like to add as much toner as it takes to give it about the consistency of pancake batter. Don't worry, I'll put gloves on when I actually come into contact with my hair. Don't be alarmed. That doesn't make any sense. Well, it doesn't, but it turns out in my hubris that I didn't clean this out well enough from the last time I dyed my hair with Sharpie markers. Although I thought I did pretty well, I've washed this out like 10 times since then, but apparently not. So we're just going to have to see how it affects my hair because I'm not turning back. Just cross your fingers and start praying. Thankfully, I'm only doing my roots so it can't turn out too horribly. All right, this is good enough for me. Now to see what happens. Now we get the glove up. And let's get this party started. So I'm gonna try and break these little sections into littler sections, just so I can get it as thoroughly coated and even as possible. Actually, I need another clip. All right, time to get to work. I should probably do the same for this side too. And you know how I do, and if you don't know how to do, I like to use my hands because I feel like I have a lot more control over it than with the brush. So we're just gonna go in here I'm gonna try and prevent as much overlap as I possibly can, if I can. All right, one section down. Switch my right glove and start on one of these other sections just to ensure that things get a little bit easier.
boom, finished. So I'm just gonna leave this in my hair for about 30 minutes and then rinse it out. All right, so this is what I'm currently looking like. I'm gonna rinse and go over it with some purple shampoo to see if that tones it a bit. And then I'll decide if I'm going over it again at another point later. All right, so I'm back for round two. As you can see, I have my bleaching shirt on and these roots just aren't light enough and my roots are also coming in. It's been like a week since I did the first round. So now it seems like a good time to finish the job before my roots grow in too much. So my hair is blowing out. I'm just adding a little bit more coconut oil before I section them off and get back to work. All right, nice and secure. Just gonna add one more so this guy doesn't get in the way. All right, so I'm just gonna mix up some bleach. The only difference between this time and the first round is that I'm gonna go in with 20 volume developer rather than 30, so it's his time to shine. And for this time, I think I'm going to use two scoops of bleach rather than I don't even know how many I used last time, like three or four. It was way too much. It's always better to have more than enough, but that was a little ridiculous. So I actually ended up going with two and a half scoops. Just in case, just in case you can never be too safe. All right, we're ready to go. Let's try this again. So I still have a pretty decent amount left. Not as crazy as last time, but still a good chunk. So I'm just gonna cover my hair with a shower cap and leave it in for like 20, 25 minutes. I'm not trying to go too light. It's already light enough. I only need about a shade and a half to two shades. So just wanna process this guy a little bit faster. All right, good to go and I'll be back. And this is what we're currently look like so much better as you can see i still have some roots peeking through but it's whatever we're not worried about them right now everything is good in the hood so we're moving on it turned out just a little bit better than things usually go for me praise the lord and now all that's left to do is dye my hair i'm thinking purple green and blue or purple green and pink didn't get that far yet but you'll get to find out in the next one so thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys